right, so I got that. I don't think that's a thing anymore. So it's gonna be able to clear one of these guys. That's good, that's good. Why is it water or blue? Oh, I should post on the Discord too. Is he supposed to be like the moving water or something? Oh, Jesus! Brown peels right on the other way. Hey! Here, I gotta sign into Discord. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, it was just like eight donut holes, but yes. Is that all right? Uh, Miles ate that for breakfast. I don't know who ate the other croissant. I think Ken ate one. You know, I don't. I don't know who ate the croissants. There we go. Yeah, I think that'll do. So there's that, there's that, there's me. <sighs> so I had started looking at some of the stuff I can make I do the best I can to improve the stuff. So I got even, what relic do I have right now? I have Juggernaut. Which I do actually really like that. That one's actually really, really good. Forever it'd be cool. Place one. Falco! What's going on, man? Thank you. Oh, hey, I should probably turn that giveaway on. Let me turn that on. Open. There it is. Anyway, how are you doing tonight, my man? It's not a mace. Summon crab spirit. That sounds kind of neat. By the way, thank you for coming. Thank you for the bits. I appreciate you. Transcend. Okay. Oh, so these are better ones. This is where I got Juggernaut. It's Arbiter. No, I don't want that one. I don't want that one either because that's not what I'm doing. Summon Stormhound. That'd be kind of neat. Mythics. Mythics. That sounds good. Unleash the combined energy of the blows you have sustained into a devastating shockwave. That sounds nuts. Fifty percent of attack damage converted to health. That sounds all right. One runs wrath. Eight percent increase health and regeneration by. That's pretty good. And that juggernaut is really good. And I don't have soldier. This is just good stuff here. Oh, I should. I'd probably need to close this back out. Because that's just going to ding in my ear all night and that's going to bother me. There we go. I already have the glyph, don't I? Or a glyph. Yeah, seismic strength, big, big old leap, which I do really like that one. So I don't need to worry about those. Now consumable thingies. Maven's lens. 
What is that's a an amulet? Seal of the royal crown. There's an amulet. I see. I really like that amulet, so I'm not getting rid of that one. Medals, rings, components seems big deal. I just put that on to give me poison resist because I didn't have any. So what's on this one then? Enchanted flint, burning weapons. I'm okay with that. Vengeful wraith. Pretty okay with that. Polished emerald. That's all that I have on that one. So there's a, a helmet. How do I filter this for just helmets? I can't, can I? Yes, yeah, so that's all. All weapons, shields, and off. And I don't care. Death chill, dense fur, enchanted floats I already have, amulets, I need stuck in armor, weapon shield and off hands, head armor, I like that one. Four shell shields, chest and shoulder armor. What do I have there? I have. I already have resilient plating, so I'm good there. Uh, chest. Oh, that's the acid resist right now. Tell me now. I don't want to get rid of like the plus eight to all that stuff. I specifically need like armor or head. Spine carapace might be nice. Not that many head armor. Prismatic rage. Activates when health drops below 50. And losing eight physique cunning and spirits not that big of a deal. But I have to make all this stuff. I don't have very many aether shards. So we'll come back to that because prismatic diamond sounds pretty good to me. So I need a pen. piece of paper or a sticky note a sticky note will do me so I need to make the arcane spark I need to make radiant gem I need to make wrath stone And I need to make aether shards. So that's one, one, one. I need seven aether shards. Can okay, so I can make that. So there's seven. Was oh, that really all the ones I know? No, okay, wait, wait. Wrath Stone. Let's make that. Arcane Spark. I don't have enough of those, so I gotta get more of those. So I can't actually make that yet. And then, can I make a Radiant Gem? No, because I have to make all this. This is ridiculous. Let's make a rigid shell.
molten skin, dense fur. I know I was picking all this crap up for a reason, though. So the only thing I can't make is I, I made that. Can't make the arcane spark. So I can't make this yet. So I'll have to come back to that. But I'll come back to that. All right, thank you. Sticky note for your service. Hey, don't get killed out there. So I have to get farther into the story. All right, so this can go here. Who are you barking at? Barking at one of our children. Didn't I hand you a pink? Okay, the block I handed you last night, does it not work? Are you sure? Must have handed Aiden a block. Find your other one. Blood of Pig, that sounds like my buddy Jimmy Ido. What is going on, dude? Used in all armor. So we're going to make that. We're going to put that on my belt. How are you doing, big man? Hopefully you're having yourselves a good, or yourself a good night. I got this. This is what I need. I need this and there. And I'm going to keep the item. We'll put the item back on and then we're gonna put this on my item and there now I'm better more damage not much yeah well we are getting old uh, piece of loss the wrist open in the blood grove north of homestead and the plains of strife so Oh, I'm not. I'm. I've got a ways to go before I get there, which is fine. I got. I'm going this way anyway. So we'll go to Twin Falls and then we'll wake our way out. Um, Hargate's formula. Origins. So where's that one at? Rowboat and lower crossing near the prison bridge. We can use to travel to the island. What? Alright, where's lower crossing then? Cumberland Watch, Twin Falls. Where's lower crossing? Oh, there's lower crossing. I gotta find the boat in here. Cool. Well, thank you very much for coming by the stream. Oh, I'm doing uh, I'm doing a giveaway tonight. You should totally enter that, folks. Uh, do exclamation point giveaway and it'll tell you. It should just be like a uh, raffle and then one. Oh, I froze. And I'm not on the right screen. There we go. So I gotta find a rowboat. Yeah, raffle space one. There you go. I'm doing a. Uh, the Tonight's giveaway is one copy of Strange Brigade. So, yeah. Uh, now, the giveaway will be happening in about, well, whenever I decide to. No, no more than two hours from now, and I don't expect you to watch that. However, if you want to get a notification for it, join up on my Discord, and I will contact you on whoever wins. So I have to find a rowboat. Come here, robot. Where are you? 
that's a broken robot. Now, my uh, my Discord isn't exactly you know super active, although it's again something that I am working on. I don't know where this rowboat is. I mean, I'm finding a whole bunch of rowboats. Come on, rowboat. Where are you? But at a minimum, it'll give me a way to get a hold of you. So I can give you your Steam code if you win. Oh, there's the robot. I haven't actually done this mission before. This is kind of new to me. So I'm trying to find a formula. Alright, oh, right. I can do this now. Hero killed. I like it. Gotta get all the stuffs. So, now I'm uh, I'm just I tell you what I'm doing there, pig. I am feeling old. I uh, my oldest son is fixing to be 14 in a week and I don't know how to handle that a week a week 14 uh, dude my twins are 10 I don't know if you know much about the twins. I got the, uh, we had the twins. Well, you should. Actually, you probably know about it. I, we, um, the twins came about because, uh, well, actually, it's when I quit. Yes. Oh, in January. Congratulations, dude. Congratulations. Yeah, we're not doing it anymore. No more. We've had enough of the children's. Trapdoor. No, they're good kids, though. Too smart for their own good, like most of them. Spiders. No. The spiders everywhere. Kill the spiders. Fancy spinny shit. Go. So I'm trying to find all kinds of stuff, but none of this is what I actually want. I'm trying to find a formula. So that means you got three kids too? That's a bunch of kids. I can tell you that much. Four. What's wrong with you? Three is plenty. We were aiming at two, and it did not function. <laughs> Get wrecked. Kill the spy. No, these are snake people. I'll bet he does. Yeah, totally somebody else's fault. <laughs> No, I miss working with you guys, though. I'll tell you that. Um, so you may... Well, you're probably aware of this. I, li I live in uh, Atlanta now. Or near it. I live north of it. So I completely gave up on the whole Midwest. I like it down here. Although I still travel for work. It's not as much as it was when we were all at, uh, at DRS together. How do we get there? Bought a house in Jeffco. I think my sister... No, she lives in North. She lives in North County. There we go. 
She's actually just rescued a pit bull. But to be fair, Jeffco is at least better than Illinois side for sure. Definitely better than the Illinois side. Boss characters everywhere. Oh, oh shit. Was not paying attention. Oh, now I have to go back to that flipping island. Grim Dawn. I was being all cool and then I screwed up and died. Now I have to go find my body, and except for it's not in like a regular place. And I was really screwed up because I was, uh, I did not make a rift when I got where I was going. I should have. Um, yeah. You're pretty hilarious, yes. Reinforcements have arrived. Cat, thank you for the host. Appreciate that lady. Enter the raffle. Giveaway, whatever it is. Raffle one, do that. Just humor me. Try to get a whole bunch of people into it. Right now I think I have uh, two. One. I think I just have one. I think I just have... Yeah, I just got one person here. Come on. Come on, cat. Anyway, thank you for the host. I do appreciate it. I do like the Aimer Squad, folks. Oh, I can do this. That's not... Right? Boom, there it is. Uh, no, I'm not, uh, I'm not making people stick around for the, for, the, for the giveaway. So if you enter it, I will get a hold of you on uh, probably the Aimer Discord and let you know if you won it. But folks, those of you that are watching, if you uh, like chill games like Satisfactory, Cat plays those a bunch. So definitely give her a shot. She is good people. Trying not to die here. Walking in poison water, apparently. Got it. Ooh. Brutal axe. That sounds neat. Wait for that to go away, because that's probably bad for me. Anything that does that is bad for me. Uh, raffle space one. I haven't figured out how to use it right to where I, like, I don't require that part of it. So just, yeah, hit it. I know you, you uh, clearly you have one channel point. <laughs> yeah, I'd love to have you in the channel. Chatting with you is always cool. And Grim Dawn's, if you like action RPGs, you cannot go wrong with it, honestly. It's really good. I am currently playing it on like hard mode. So, keep that in mind. I'm trying to figure out how to do this right to where I can have a, a better defense. Dead. Got it. Nope, with the space. Raffle with the space into one. Come on, cat. <laughs> oh, you guys are great. Killing everything. Treasure drove. Blow it up. I want everything in there. So yeah, like this. And I am going to pull myself out of it because clearly I can't. Oh. I can't pull me out of it. Well, if I win, I'll do a second drawing, because clearly I can't win my own giveaway. That's stupid. Oh, 
Oh, no, I just want to make sure you're in it. Like I said, I'm, I'm finally doing giveaways, and I would love for people to actually be able to take advantage of it, especially folks like you guys in Aimer Squad. I mean, you all have always been super cool and welcoming, and I appreciate it. Cake is good. I eat too much cake. So. No, I got I got plenty of things. There's there's definitely some stuff I want to pick up. No. But I don't have any of those codes right now. Oh, I'm frozen. Jerks. Did a whole bunch of sit-ups and some planking. Oh, damn it. I never grabbed my corpse. Actually, honestly, um, I am interested in that one, uh, dude. I hadn't, uh, I hadn't looked at, I hadn't looked at it a whole lot because of the monthly subscription, effectively. But I am interested in that one. I do play some games like that. Not a whole bunch of them these days, but when I say games like that, I mean I play like Satisfactory. I've played some No Man's Sky on my PlayStation. Uh, there we go. That's what I needed. Uh, Space Engineers is one that I play from time to time. I'm not good at any of them, but the game looks really cool. I've watched a few people streaming it. No, I was having trouble getting him to do anything Sunday. Too much acid. I'm going to die from being in somebody else's pool of blood. Wow, I lived. Space Engineers is really cool. I'm not good at it. Um, I've only really done a bunch of single player stuff. Just trying to get the, you know, understanding how the game works. But it's definitely a neat game. That's another one. If you like games like... I would actually say if you like games kind of like... Uh, Seven Days Minus Zombies. If you like factory style games or even Minecraft construction y stuff, it's cool. My oldest has probably put more time into it than I have. He was playing it with a couple of his buddies. He got like the crayon achievement where you have a whole bunch of different colors on your ship. I do not have that one yet. But I have figured out how to make like a one man mining chip and I figured out a little bit of how the production chain stuff goes. Uh, I, I have the Java Minecraft on computer that I have played some and again I like it. I haven't put a whole lot of time into it. There's so many games to play, right? And uh, then I have it on the Switch. My wife and I play it sometimes on the Switch. This one's a good one if you like the like the older Diablos, like one and two. Or if you like Path of Exile. No. Yeah, the Windows, um, the Bedrock Edition. I think that's that's crossplay with um, with this, uh, like the Switch and stuff. I'm pretty sure they're all in Bedrock Edition. Switch and the tablet and everything else. It's the Java edition on Windows that's different. It's 
See, I think my kids all have... I think my kids all have Bedrock through their tablets. I'm not sure. So I have to get like a screen name or something from you. Oh anyway, yeah, if you like those old Diablos, then you would like this one. It's definitely worth the money. It's got a really cool, um, uh, care, like, class system. Because they have, I think it's like ten different classes, and each one of them can be paired with all the others. Because you pick, like, you pick one class when you hit, like, level ten, I think, and then you pick a second class when you hit twenty. Something along those lines. So there's actually a whole lot of, of variety to builds. Uh, portal. Shit. No! God damn it. This is... It's kind of... it's. There's Like I said, there's a lot of replayability and variety to it. It's not um, as freeform as like Path of Exile is. Oh, shit. But it's got a lot to it. Dead. Oh, yeah, no, dude, totally understand that. My people are following me. Um, I am playing as my Oath Keeper slash Necromancer. They are not zombies, though. They are, um, they're like flamey spirit ghosts to go with my Oath Keeper. They have no health, but they still get, I think, some of the bon like pet bonuses that you see. They don't. They do AOE fire damage to everybody, and they run around and fight stuff. I don't know what AQ three D is. So I got the formula, so I can three again. I can leave again. Adventure Quest 3D. I have never played that. Right, so I can leave. to Devil's Crossing. It's an old browser game. Do you have something for me? Hand it here. Yeah, I gained a level. Sweet. So I gotta, oh, I already knew that one. Oh, these blueprints I'm learning. Brutal Axe. Legendary one-handed axe. Damn. I actually really like that, but it doesn't do what I want it to do. I think I might have it. Not nothing wrong with a simple MMO. Just sorts of shit. Do, do. I have so much crap that I still gotta go get. I'll keep that, but that doesn't really do much for me. This is weird, though. Why does this do so much more damage? Spanish. Uh, 
Oh. Two hand, you know, I, um, a lot of times I do two hand. I, this, this game specifically, this character specifically, I did the shield thing because of, uh, where is it? This ability. I can just literally chuck my shield at somebody and it bounces around like Captain America does a stupid amount of damage. And in this one, I have it rigged up to where it also gives me a whole bunch of health as it comes through and hits people. So, that's cool. There's other stuff that I haven't done yet. Oath keepers are jealous and forces of social by their will, heathen as foes are drawn in. So it taunts targets and knocks targets down. That feels a little much. Yeah, the fire dudes right there. They're so cool. I might just hold on to my one point for right now, though. There's always good stuff in Necromancer that's neat. Call of the Grave. Seven... Should do this more. There we go. I'll just do that. So you got skill stuff for two of them, then you have this huge constellation thing too, right? And you can come through here and all of these things do pretty significant bonuses for you. Um, you know, whether it's you know extra damage, uh, stats, whatever. Um, some of them have ability modifications. So like I have this set to when I do my charge that you see I run it across. Lose glasses, dangos, no! I have to read in this game. <sighs> anyway, when I do my charge thing across, it um, leaves a path of fire, but it also has... Good night. Thank you. Sorry, but I don't know where your tablet is. Figure it out in the morning. Um, when I hit somebody... It, it has a pretty significant chance to blow up in a big wall of spikes around me. Uh, hey. Yeah, so I mean, there's, like I said, there is a, a shitload of stuff to do in this game. There really is. Okay, so now I am at Cross the Bridge or Smuggler's Pass. So, Smuggler's Pass, Twin Falls. I'll get to the broken... I'll get to Twin Falls. So we'll go to Twin Falls and then we'll head, I guess, north to Tyrant's Hold? No. We gotta go this way because we gotta go through... We have to go through the pass. That's right. Uh, 88 constellations? You know what? Uh, I'll tell you in a second. We'll look back at it. I don't think there's 88, but there's a bunch. And they're all, like, made-up constellations too, right? So, let's see here. Boom. Devotion. You know, I'm not going to count it, but you can see a lot of them on here. I don't think there's 88, though. I don't know how many there are. But there's a bunch. Please count them. You know what we'll do? I'm going to Google it. How many constellations are there in Grim Dawn? 82. 82 constellations. There you go. I hope you're happy.
Actually, what sucks here is the skeletons are actually kind of hard for me to see. Since I don't have my glasses on. Dangos. <laughs> I don't actually remember which way I'm supposed to be going, so we're going to go this way. I think. Dissatisfied with the answer? Man, tough crowd. Tough crowd. Uh, you know, we're going to do this real quick. Then we'll go to this cave. I mean, this, this game has been out for a while. I honestly don't know when it got released. They've done uh, some... They do relatively regular... Well, they don't really do much in the way of updates now, except for, like, some bug fixes. Uh, but they have had a couple of expansions come out. That really did improve, uh, expand on the gameplay. Uh, added in, like the, the Oath Keeper here was a, a character class that was not initially in the game. Well, it's got kind of a, it's got a neat um, stamina healing system in it too. So you can look at the uh, uh, at my health bar, right? And you can see how it's red. It's got like a yellow tone in the back, and the yellow kind of shading under there, the gold, is uh, healing, right? So you can see that goes down and it heals you back up. That's just kind of a thing they have in here that I think is neat. Just an extra way to uh, recover health. And that you get more of as you go around, you pick up food or the vitality uh, essence that you see. Is that it? point boo well and pots are in here also you, you do get those as well you get the uh, the health pots and the uh, and the magic pots but it's just something something extra but it doesn't it does not work while you're in combat you have to be out of combat for that to turn on so I guess it's kind of a redundant uh, potion Spinny shit. Oh, I knocked him down. Neat. Yeah, by vita vital essence, Vitalia. What? I can't read that. Whatever that is, that's what it is. How do I get. How do I get to those guys? I think I go this way. Yeah, because I can't just jump up there. That was one of the other things they added, this whole... They added extra mobility stuff when they added the Oath Keeper in. Sometimes the camera angle needs a little leaves a little something to be desired, but not too often. Ooh. 
Ooh, we got some ruins. But yeah, there's there's all kinds of little neat little tips and tricks and things you can do. The bad guys get a lot of the same ones too, though. So if there's something that you can do, chances are there's a bad guy that can do it too. Not expect that. Lightning. Yeah, I definitely want to upgrade that ability some more. That one's pretty neat. Oh, there's a shrine. So these shrines are how you get the points for your uh, the special things I was showing you that's in the constellations. So some of them are combat, some of them are item. This one's a combat one. You just gotta beat these these characters, and sometimes it can be pretty hard. Honestly. And then you, there's a lot of loot, like any of these other RPG styles. But now I've completed that, so I can come down to the constellation thing, and then I can add a point, which I'm trying to get to this one. Guessing it's time to stay home for two weeks? Um, sorta. Uh, I don't have uh, anything traveling on the docket. But I, I probably should be quarantining since I was up in Michigan. But I also don't have to really actually be around people ever. So. It's not too bad. Um, I would say one playthrough. You know what, honestly, I don't have a good answer for you on that one. Let me see, how many hours do I have in this game? I have, I only have 93 hours in this game. And I have beaten it. Two characters? I've beaten it with at least one. I've gotten two or three towards the end game and just switched over to a different class because I wanted to. Uh, I'm currently in the, I guess, like, NG Plus version of it. It's like, it's like a lot of the other ones. Like, Diablo yeah, always had the, uh, you beat it, and then, well, now they have the Torment scale on it, right? Um, so I'm on Elite Difficulty. So I would say... 30 hours? It depends on how hard you go on it and uh, like how many times you go back to try to farm loot or something like that. And there's been plenty of times where I've just turned it on shit. Oh. just to play a bit. Because like the bad guys respawn, you know, like, like most of the other ones. The bad guys respawn whenever you uh, start your game over again. Am I frozen? What's going on here? Jesus Christ. Yeah. 
There's a lot going on there. Um, I do play some shooters. Uh, I don't do a lot of... Really, I don't do any of the, uh, the Battle Royale styles. I will occasionally play like Apex Legends and stuff, but that's usually when I have a buddy that will get a hold of me wanting to play. But most of them, I just, I don't have the reaction speed, really. And I get, I get too ragey too quickly, to be completely honest. But I do have fun. I, I, I do play them occasionally. I did try out um, Warzone. I checked that one out and played it a little bit, and it's not a bad game. Oh. But it's, I don't know, it's, it's just, it's too, I would say it's too fast paced for me, in all honesty. Uh, well, I mean, it's like I was saying it, it's not. Okay, so I got I got to get in there. Um, I would say it's well put together. It looks like the visuals on it are good. The gameplay is smooth. Um, if you have a powerful enough machine, there's not like you don't have to worry about a whole lot of stuff. They do have some extra survivability mechanics in it that I appreciate. Um, like you can put armor plates on to give yourself a little extra health, that kind of thing. Um, my, the big downside to it is uh, it's 123 gigabytes to download. So it is a massive game. The only reason I downloaded it is because uh, the hotel I was in had enough bandwidth. Yeah, 123 gig is a lot. Company Wi-Fi. <laughs> yeah. That's definitely uh, the way to go. I got a little aggravated because that's just a that is a massive file. I don't know if they're using any of those assets for other stuff too, though, because like the big thing that I kept seeing was uh, advertisements for the Cold War, I think it is, whichever the next Call of Duty thing is. So I'm hoping they use a lot of the same assets. Otherwise, there's like not a whole lot of. Okay, fine, three years now. Not a whole lot of reason to download a, more than 100 gigabytes on a Battle Royale game. But that's me. Yeah, it's not my bread and butter. I play a lot more stuff like Satisfactory or uh, uh, Hard Space Shipbreaker, where you are literally working in an orbital salvage yard. And I can also tell you that I have not... I've, I've played EVE for about... I'd say a total of an hour in the last four years, and that is entirely because my oldest son uh, decided to give it a try. so many zombies. Good night. 
Uh, yes, mother, I am in fact blowing stuff up. I think it's, I think I can get my glasses back on. Oof. Should we play as Overwatch? I actually own Overwatch. Uh, I haven't played it in a while. I did have a little bit of fun. Well, I shouldn't say a little bit. I did have some fun playing it. Um, but it was another one of those things where I, I can't play it with people that take it too seriously. Because I'm bad at it. I, I'm never going to be a pro Overwatch player. Um. Yeah, it's... They're not bad games. They aren't bad games. It's not a bad game. It's a little unfortunate that Overwatch's release killed uh, Battleborn. I was hoping that one was going to be better than it was. Well, even if you have zero time competitive, you always have that, that one guy that's just like super into it and gets real mad when you don't do perfectly so I end up just playing a lot of uh, like Lucio just do that uh, heal aura pretty much heal aura speed aura flip back and forth Seem people seem okay with that Let's see here. We, we're coming up on the one hour mark. One hour mark, I normally will get up and take a, a short break, stretch my legs, things of that nature. Uh, quick reminder, uh, follows, guys, if you're watching the channel and uh, you like what you see, I would tell you to go ahead and push that button. Follow the channel. Play a very broad variety of games. I play everything from this to, like I was saying before, I play a Satisfactory or Factorio. I play some Skyrim. I play... Uh, occasionally Space Engineers. I'm probably going to get back into doing an X4 playthrough before long, because that game's also pretty good. Uh, I play a bunch of stuff. So, give it a shot, give it a follow. Either stay on the point or move people around the map. Yeah. That sounds pretty useful. Uh, and also, for those of you guys that are watching right now, I have a, uh, a giveaway going for a copy of Strange Brigade. I know it's not super new, but it's an awesome game from everything I've seen. It looks fantastic. Uh, so if you want to get in on that, do exclamation point raffle, hit the space bar once, type the number one, and uh, join, the, join the giveaway. It's good times. So you'll enjoy it. Oh, wrong button. Stupid wrong buttons. What is this? That's one of the things. Uh, Jim, when I'm talking about this game and how they they don't do like super regular updates, but when they do an update, it, ends, it tends to be fairly impactful. Um, I have not played Skyrim on Switch. I play Skyrim on the PC. But... These things, these purple ones that keep coming up, I'm pretty sure that that is a, what they're calling a monster infrequent. Legendary one-handed ranged. That's weird. But yeah, they added in some pretty, pretty pimp uh, weapons into this game. Skyrim seems like a deep game. Oh god, yes, dude. Skyrim, it really is. It's, uh, I mean, it's been out for so long. It's been released on so many different titles. But I can honestly say that they just keep... I mean, there's so much to do in the game in the first place. And then there's a zillion and one mods that you can get through the, uh, the Bethesda in-game, or yeah, the in-game workshop. I don't like that they moved it in-game. Oh, the Creators Club, that's what it is. I don't like that they moved it in-game. I think that was pretty garbage, but the mods are still in there. And you can add it, you can add in a bunch of like survival aspects to where you have to have like food and water, fast travel goes away, which I can't imagine playing that game without fast travel, but you can if you want to. A um, bunch of different, I, I play it with, I think I have like seven or eight mods. Yeah, you're not wrong there. 
Oh, this game? Oh, yeah. No, compared to Diablo, this game is super deep. This isn't where I needed to go. Well, it, it's super deep, especially compared to 3. Like, I honestly, I think Diablo 2 is more expansive than 3 is. 3 suffers from the same thing that a lot of uh, Blizzard Activision's titles have. And I, I put World of Warcraft into this, too. If you don't play it according to whatever predetermined meta some min-maxer came across, then you're playing the game wrong, and that's all there is to it. Um, this one's not like that. And if you give me a second here, let me get to where I'm actually supposed to be going in this quest marker. Uh, I will, well, actually, let me get to the next town, and I will show you... Um, I'll show you all the different character classes you can choose from. It's actually really, really cool. Yeah, I've, um, that might just be rumor mill shit. I, um, I got a buddy of mine that I've, I've been considering asking about that kind of stuff. And I, it would be interesting to me if Microsoft bought Bethesda purely to stick it to Sony. Like, it'd be funny. It'd be interesting. But I don't know that I believe that. I wouldn't necessarily be surprised. Really? Alright, actually, you know what? I got this. That's close enough. Well, Daniels, think about it like this, right? The big war with console is always going to be between Xbox and, and Sony, right? It's Xbox and PlayStation. Uh, as much as the Switch fills a niche with the handheld and it's, it gets the Nintendo audience, it's still, it's not, uh, it's not a PS4, it's not a PS5, it's not an Xbox or a Series S, X, whatever the hell the thing is. And none of them are a PC overall. So if Microsoft buys Bethesda, gets all that IP, and prevents things like Elder Scrolls and Fallout and Doom and Wolfenstein and all that kind of stuff from ever hitting Sony, that's actually going to hurt Sony's margins a lot. Because there are people that will buy a PS5 purely for Skyrim. And there are people that are PlayStation fanboys that will absolutely buy a, uh, an Xbox just to get the um, just to get uh, Skyrim. Alright, let me sell all this green shit. Then I will save and then I'll show you what I'm talking about as far as depth of a game. To the main menu we go. Actually, I may not be able to show you because I don't think it lets you choose. character. Blah, blah, blah. Great. Oh, can I only have so many characters? That's stupid. Um... So let me create a character. <coughs> this is not... You know what? I can still show you, though, because this is two different things. So like I said, you have 10 different character classes. You have like your regular straight up melee people, like you have uh, a shaman, 
uh, which is kind of a druidy thing. Does a lot of two-handed stuff, nature-based things. Um, you've got a soldier. Uh, you have your ninja type, which is a an assassin, I think, is what it is. Or nightblade. Nightblade is what it's called. Does you know the blink teleport behind people, shank stuff. Um, you've got a lot of ranged things like demolitionists and inquisitors. Inquisitors do like gadgets and stuff. Um, you have occultists which do a lot of summons. You have necromancers, which do necromancer things. Uh, but the necromancer, you don't, or the occultist, you don't actually have to be pet-based. You can play it, in, play it in such a way that you don't actually have a horde. The hordes are fun, but it's not, it's not a thing. You can do so much. That's not, it's just stupid. Oh, there they are. So it made all of them, and I just didn't see them yet. Nice. We'll play this a little bit. I think we, I, you might be like level two or three where you get to pick your skill. Still drawing. You, he's a. Let me take a quick look here. You're not looking too bad. The what we do? Barrel Hill, reanimating. Okay. So right now I have no skills at all. I have a garbage little dagger thingy. And you, you find stuff as you go along. And it's like a lot of the other games, you know, there's going to be equipment that you can't use because you don't have enough of the right stat. Alright, gained a level. There you go. So there's nine. Nine skills that you, nine of them that you can choose from, choose from, choose from. And you can combine all any of these with any of the other ones. And they all kind of make sense. You know, like a, a soldier combined with a demolitionist isn't a bad thing. You know, a soldier combined, or, you know, necro necromancer mixed with the inquisitor even isn't necessarily a bad thing. Uh, it's a little sketchy because the necromancers are usually not carrying guns. But you can put them all together. And each one of them has... Uh, just a whole bunch of stuff they do. Some of them are weapon specific, like this one. You need a two-handed weapon to make it happen, and all it does is it um, it adds extra lightning damage, makes extra a lot of damage actually to your uh, to your attacks. You get little totems you can do stuff with. Arcanists are kind of closer to your typical wizardy thing. And in some cases I've picked, like, I picked the, uh, the Oathkeeper for all the fun shield melee stompy stuff that did, right? It seemed like a pretty, pretty solid, aggressive brawler. Uh, and then I actually added the Necromancer, not for anything to do with zombies. I added it for this thing, for extra health and damage. This for extra health and damage. And that's about all I use. I don't have much going on in the Necromancer side. Ah, and this thing too, because that wave of bones is pretty neat. And then, yeah, on top of all of that, you have the huge constellation that we were looking at earlier. It's like this. If you get this whole lightning bolt here filled in, I think you start at this end and work this way. When you get to this, it adds this ability onto one of your other abilities. Uh, you can, well, you can respect sorta, like the, the character choices that you make, like when you pick these, you're stuck with this, right? So like if I pick soldier and then for the next one, if I pick, I don't know, shaman or whatever, uh, I'm still stuck as a, a soldier shaman, whatever that and class title ends up being, <clears throat> but you can respect your build here. 
So like all of this stuff, you can fill this all the way up. You could take it all the way to 50 points, have everything here, all the points unlocked. Or not even all, but have like, have it built to where you're all two-handed and totem builds and shit. And then you can switch it to where you have like this pet and a tornado kind of thing. So there is some respecting you can do, but you can't like drop soldier. Delete these nonsense things. Yeah, yeah, if, if uh, well, constellations, I don't know. I haven't, can we respect these? 100 hours in, I don't even know if I can do that. Um, I know, see, I can come to this lady. Yes, you can undo the constellations too. That's actually really neat. Yeah, there you go. I got my four points. And I actually wanted to get this one. I've been, I've been, I haven't gotten this one yet. I've been trying to get that one for a hot minute. I keep forgetting that I have those points there. Oh, I forgot to add the thing. So now I have this skill, this tank, Targo's hammer, 33% chance on block that I have to add to something. So we add it to, we'll add it to spectral binding. 33% chance on block, hammers will orbit me. No, I read that right. I knew it was constipation. I know what you're doing to me, Jimmy. Don't worry. Queen of Rampage, thank you very much for that follow. I appreciate it. Queen, uh, since you're here and paying attention, do uh, let's do this here. Look. Doing a giveaway. I made that super simple because, honestly, the complex things are a little little beyond me right now. Here you go. And yes, tonight's, uh, tonight's Steam code is for... It's, well, it's, well, I mean, I'm in it. <laughs> But I got you, I got uh, Blood of Pig there, and I got Cat Zenny are all in the giveaway. And I'm, I'd like more of y'all to enter the giveaway. There you go. Thank you, Queen. Appreciate that. Uh, yeah, giving away a copy of... Um... <laughs> it's not rigged. Giving away a copy of uh, Strange Brigade tonight. There you go. Got all that going on. We're back here. Oh. Uh, no, I, the giveaway is there to, to, to give back to you guys, right? Like, I'm not trying to necessarily use it to draw people in. It's convenient if it does. I'm not going to lie to you. But I'm not trying to necessarily draw people in. It's, it's to be a, a way for me to be able to give back to people. Because, like, Dangos has been following me for a hot minute. I've known him for a long time. He's been watching. He subbed a couple of times, does bits. He's always in channel, and he's awesome. And, but if they got your eyeball, then, yeah, you're right. They are probably screwed up children. So yeah, it's a way to give back for anybody that wants to come in. So either way, thank you for the follow, and I appreciate that. Uh, either way, also, again, since I'm going to keep saying either way, because I'm forgetting how to speak to people, just past that one-hour mark, I'm going to get up, I'm going to stretch my legs, I'll be back in just a minute. Don't go anywhere, and we're going to keep uh, keep playing on Elite. I want to get all the way through this, 
because I want to do the uh, whatever the next hard mode is. I got another one uh, over Elite. I cannot remember for the life of me, and I just looked at it. Anyway, I'll be right back. Ultimate. That makes sense. Thank you very much. I am dead inside. I think I'll just, I don't know. We'll call you dead inside. All right. Let's keep going. I just got Twin Falls Rift. No, Broken Hills Rift. Just got the Broken Hills Rift. So keep on moving. Keep on trucking. I mean, this game has, like, it definitely has a lot going on. That's fireballs. Get out of here. Empowered Immaterial Edge. That sounds neat. I'm kind of curious why they all show such a significant discrepancy between... Well, that's a level 65 axe. I guess it's not like... It's not like it's a nothing axe. Yeah, it's 75, and it's so much less. What's this one? Grenadier Shoulder Guard. Chance when hit to throw a canister bomb. That's actually super cool. And then I got that again. That's actually really neat. So yeah, I'm trying to get to ultimate because I want to see I want to see how um, how much more difficult that gets. Now, I'm sure it gets significantly more difficult. I mean, there is a tangible difference between the normal gameplay and uh, elite. Are you serious? I've never even played that, and I would do it. <laughs> That's fantastic. <laughs> no, I'm not buying followers. Thank you for the offer, bot. Thanks, bot. Hang on, let me do this. Clickety, ban. That's one of those things where it's like, I know, I know people do that kind of shit, right? I know that they like actually buy followers. And it's like, oh, it's purely follow bot stuff. Really? I got another one already?
Like, I get it. I know people do it. I'm not going to. Oh, hey, that's a third one. I didn't even see that one. Okay, banned. I ought to make you a mod, Dangos. You're in here all the time. I've never had three of them go off in a row like that. That's kind of new. Powered worm claw. That sounds neat. Yeah, that's that's new to me. I've never seen three in a row. Like, it, it's happened to me. I mean, I, I think over the last couple of weeks, I've seen a lot of it, actually. And I'd, I'm, I'm, I'm curious what the criteria is that gets the bots to trigger, actually. Like, what's, what's the cutoff when it's like, well, do you want more followers? You see 50. Oh. oh, do you stream, Queen? Here. I'll shout out to you. There. Dead by Daylight. Uh, I don't actually play that one. I think that would probably make me cry. You are a potato, then I apologize heavily for not having come to any of your streams. I'm going to do this. There. I have now followed your channel, so I will see you and I will get you. I'm uh, I'm not very good with uh, the horror games. I don't I don't play them. Uh, like I tried playing the remaster of Resident Evil Two. In the bio, I don't know. I have it. I think it's actually it might not even be installed. But I got it. I whenever I bought the I should say whenever my super awesome wife bought this computer for me. Uh, for us, us, sorry. It, um, it's got the RX 580 in it. It uh, gave you a choice of like three games to choose from. And the games we had choice of was Division 2, um, the Resident Evil game, and I think Devil May Cry 5. And I picked uh, the Division, and I picked, or Division 2, and I picked the Resident Evil 1. Oh, no worries. Well, I need to do better about actually coming to the Amor Squad channels because, honestly, the Amers, Potato Amers are, are good people. I really like Callum All. Um, I forgot any of those names. Cat. All cool people. It's always nice to see the, the super chill, laid-back communities. And yeah, no worries with the follow. No worries at all. I don't I do not do follow for follow, but you seem like an actual person, so... We can do that. It's been easy. Oh, um... Jimmy, I'll tell you this, the uh, the only thing about this game that I really consider to be, I think it's a bad thing, but it's not like the worst thing, the map is not procedural. So the map that you play on is the same map every time you play on it. Which sucks because there's, you know, less, not as much variety in some cases, but it's kind of cool because you roughly know where you're supposed to be going. Couldn't finish Dead Space. I actually, I don't think I've ever played a Dead Space game. I think I own one. I got it as part of a bundle. Oh, thank you very much for that host. I appreciate you. Uh, I think I played one. I think I played it on 
PlayStation. Maybe it was one of the PS Plus games. And uh, I couldn't really get into it. It was, and, and it's one of those things where, like, I know it gets a lot more, uh, a lot more intense as you get into it. But I just never really, never really got in, got around to playing it enough. A quest. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, I got my portal up though. I can come right back. I don't know that I can ever play this game on actual hardcore hardcore mode. I don't think that would go well. I died there because those guys can root. Yeah, I'm gonna die again. Son of a bitch. They're rooting me, and then you see that big orange, greeny, blue thing. It's just, it's so much damage. It really is a lot of damage. Oh shit. gonna take me a second. I'm just gonna keep throwing my body at this particular problem. I'm losing so much experience like this though. Oh my god. Come on dude. I got him. Where's my body? There's the one corpse. Got him. Blueprint. That's the only one I got. Let me what I got. See, like some of these are, are really neat. Like this one gives extra. Uh, well, a lot of these give extra points to some of your skills. And that's always cool. Um, it's also generally cooler when they give me points to the skills that I have, which doesn't always happen. But it's good. Get the lightning going.
It does, most of the time this game isn't too bad. Uh, but yeah, whenever you make a mistake and start a fight with like several heroes, it doesn't go as well. All right, so that's a quest done. All right, so we got about 30 minutes for the giveaway before that ends. So if you haven't already entered it, you should. I'm happy to be able to do these things. Oh, there's a shrine. I don't have imbued silver. Can I make it? Let's find out. I might be able to. Right, let's go see this blacksmith. Hey, got any more scrap metal? I can make a bunch of that. I like that it's got a built-in teleport too, though. That's really neat. I don't have to find a town portal scroll or some nonsense like that. All right, so there's a devotion. I'll hold on to that for right now. I'll get a couple more in play before I worry about doing more of that stuff. Yeah, Monk, Monk has been here a couple of times. Calls me horrible names. No, I like Monk. He's actually a really, really cool cat. I, uh, I like him. I don't get as much opportunity as I would like to stop by his streams. Because he's usually streaming like when I'm in the middle of doing a whole bunch of work stuff. Hoping I can just jump across that. He plays some very interesting games. It's again, it's games that wouldn't normally like they wouldn't come across my radar really. Like the the point and click ones, like was that Deponia? Those aren't really games I'd play, but I don't mind watching him. Watch your back. Trust no one. Spirit trolls. Ooh. Oh, see, that's two two bosses. I've made a mistake. Maybe not. This guy's actually uh, harder than I expected. Monk's fun. I like messing with Silky too. Silky Paws is pretty entertaining. His accent makes it even better.
So what I generally do in people's streams, though, is uh, I find what I consider to be super entertaining jokes, and then I post them <laughs> in their in their chat. Although typically I will uh, I'll watch a couple of ads ahead of time so that I can put some bits in the channel. It's kind of you know sorry for the bad jokes, but not really sorry because I'm gonna do it again. Oh, Croon. Daddy Croon. That was the other one I was trying to think of. things going. Ow. In fact, talking about bad jokes and puns and things, my uh, Mike Quotebot is not... There are a couple of quotes in there, but it's actually mostly uh, bad, bad puns and jokes. So if you do that exclamation point quote, you can see some of the ones I've put in. I've got a uh, hundred... Yeah, I have a hundred uh, or a hundred one something. I have a hundred ish puns in there. And I need to add more. Because you can never have too many bad jokes. This looks like there's some bigger bad guys up here, so... Mistborn. I don't know who these guys are. That's where I gotta go. Let's take a poke around. Dad jokes and junk. I mean, I know lots and lots of people doing dad jokes and buttons for sure. Right, I guess we're going into the cave. More screen. I um, I I do them a lot. I don't feel like I do them to excess. I don't really do them too terribly much at the house, to be honest. But I do. I'll give you a good price of all I've got left. Let's see. I already know that one. I already know that one. That. Plus two to chill surge and lethal assault. That is one of the places where I go to get the jokes. Definitely one of the places that I go. I'll give you a good price of all I've got left. I got new stuff I can learn. So this is definitely one of the cool things with the two is you got all these blueprints you can learn. And you got the standings thing, which I know a lot of other games also do that. How much money do we have? That way, that.
Alright, smugglers pass. We're here. There is some golden dad jokes. I do one-liners a lot too. I'm a pretty big fan of one-liners. And yes, I absolutely go to that Reddit for uh, that subreddit also. Fire. So many bad guys explode. They're not chickens, they're hammers. No, they're hammers. That was uh, <clears throat> the most recent thing that I unlocked, the constellation that I unlocked, added a chance to where when I block, uh, there is a chance that I will summon a hammer to follow me. It's like a, uh, right now it's a 33 or 40 percent chance it might be now. That's one of the other things too is that the, as you have the skills and you keep using them, uh, they'll level up and the chance of activation goes up. And uh, or do you mean the two things that are for these two things? That's just like fiery shadow dudes. Uh, but as you use the skills that the uh, ability modifiers, I guess you'd call them, you uh, they get better. So just by having it on a skill to where it gets used, it gets more time. Um, not well. I mean, it started at 33. Where's it at now? It is now it's still 33% chance on block, but the damage keeps going up. So yeah, one third chance every time I block is pretty good. And my block rate should be relatively high. Let's see. Defensive ability. Uh, defense, chance to block 43%. So I block roughly half. And out of those half, one third could spawn a hammer, so that's not bad. I'm pretty okay with that, actually. And the cool thing about them, too, is, like, they're all they're all cool. They all are neat. They do what they're supposed to, but it... And it definitely feels like it adds a lot to it. You know, you can... You can the battle flow changes a lot, but it's not... None of it feels, like, broken to me. Yeah, see, I got four of them, five of them on me now, so that's a little much. <laughs> but I did just have a whole bunch of people hitting me. Oh, shit, that's a boss. That is Voldrak the Destroyer. All right. Overkill is underrated. Well, yeah. I don't want a game to be too easy. 
I guess, is my thing. I mean, nobody really wants a game to be too easy, but it definitely changes. You can feel uh, an effect. Like with the hammers in here, it definitely it feels like I am definitely mowing through some of these things a lot easier. But you still, in some cases, you have to be careful how quickly you kill them. It's like there are, uh, there's these little like critters look like like six legged little alien dealies that if they, uh, when they die, they leave a pool of, you know, alien style acid blood. Uh, and if you kill a whole bunch of them in a row, right on top of you, it's going to be bad. All this green glowy shit is bad for me. But this this uh, particular build is definitely one where I want people to be hitting me. See, that's like the big fiery circle on this guy. That's actually hurting me. And it's not like I'm not murdering a lot of these things is real hard. The ragdoll's pretty legit in this game too. Well, if it isn't my old friend from Devil's Crossing. I haven't been entirely honest with you. I'm not a chef, not by profession anyway. Oh, look, I'm sure my job was to scout a taken. Well, my sources are quite good, if I say so myself. I came upon these refugees on my way through mm -hmm. Smuggler's Pass. They were trapped and would soon have become food or entertainment. <laughs> right. Now I have to get into a cave. It's got big old critters in it. Find a body in the cave. I think I have to get across there. I'm pretty sure that will kill me if I go that way. With all the greens, like crazy acid, burny damage. I don't think I. I think I can get that way. We'll go this way first. Yeah, don't stand on fire. It's bad for you. Now let's take a quick look. I'll tell you guys exactly how much time is left on this. There is 12 minutes and 25 seconds. So we can stick around. See who wins this. I want to say there's a bunch of spiders in this cave. Yep. Oh, that's one of those things. Totally has acid blood. Because you missed my face. Thanks, buddy. Shit, yeah, see that? That's bad for me. Luckily, my boys could handle it. Where did 
that. Let me out of here. Seriously. Alright, so there's the poor dead girl. All kinds of stuff. And another shrine for me to do. Acid blood. But we got the shrine. Oh, and I get a level. My guy got two points in here. Take that. Extra retaliation damage. Pretty on board. Did that count? Take the points go? Yeah. All right. So now I gotta find my way out of here. Get out of the acid. down and underneath and then around and up and over there. I think that's where I gotta go. Except I can't go that way. So we'll try this way. I thought I picked that up. It's gonna be worth money. Kind of sounds like my cats are losing their minds. Got you. Oh. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, Jim. Appreciate you. Uh, oh, uh, you folks that are around here, um, especially new follows. I uh, normally stream Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, um, and it's it's usually a pretty heavy toss-up on what I'm going to be playing. Uh, Wednesday, though, is typically co-op game night with my wife and her sister. Uh, we have been on a bit of a Warframe kick recently, because it's a good game, especially for a free game. It's fantastic. Your Twitch noob? Well... Twitch is pretty good. Actually, uh, I, I like the platform overall. They do some dumb things that I, I really think is are just really bad mistakes. Like, uh, you've been in the, the chat long enough, you've probably seen the mid-roll advertisements come up. And uh, just ads in the middle of a stream. And it's, it's really, really aggravating. Because there's not a very good reason for it. Because they already have the pre-roll stream. A pre-roll ad, right? And then uh, mid-roll ads just seem excessive to me. And the only way to get away from the ads in channels is subscribing to individual channels. Like, you sub to one channel, you don't get rid of the ads for everywhere. 
So if you sub to mine, you just get rid of the ads in my channel. And I don't like it. Yeah, I think they come up about once an hour. I'm honestly not entirely sure, because I know some other people have complained about it being like every 30 minutes. So, in the, well, I, I take that back. There are a couple ways to get rid of them. One of them is the sub, but the other one... And subs on Twitch cost money, right? It's not like subbing on YouTube. Um, although you get a free one with Twitch with if you have Amazon Prime. You get one free sub if you've linked your Twitter account. Because Amazon bought Twitch a while ago. I couldn't tell you how long ago. But uh, the other thing that I can do to deal with the ads is I can manually run a uh, 60 second ad just whenever. And that'll get rid of ads in my channel for like 30 or 40 minutes. Maybe It might be as long as an hour, I'm not entirely sure. That's another one of the things that keep changing. And like I get it, you gotta make money somewhere. But damn. I started watching Twitch, um, mostly for the Dota 2 tournaments. I don't play the game. Not very often, anyway. Because, again, I'm really bad at it. I like it, but I am not that good. Uh, but I do really like watching the tournaments, especially the, uh, the international every year. Which is unfortunately not happening due to the COVID. That's a whole bunch of those little hammers. That's fantastic. Um, you know what? I've never actually bought anything directly from an ad. Although, there have been a couple of things where seeing the ad, I did go look at for the product and see what it was. But, I mean, the ads here and commercials are... I mean, it's the same kind of thing, really. Oh, shit. You see a ad for a new Mountain Dew type, you might actually buy that. See an ad for a new show coming up, you might go watch it. But as far as like clicking the link and buying an ad, no. No, I've never done that. I'm an old school internet too, kid, a kid too, Jim. You ain't that much older than me, man. I'm fixing to be 40 next year. Okay. So we'll go down and around and we'll blow that up. I remember Juno. I remember the original old AOL. ICQ boards and the like. Is that overkilly enough for you? It's hard to tell. Where 
Where am I going? Going the wrong way is where I'm going. Oh, yeah, dude. Free frisbees, coasters. See, I never, uh, I never actually had like an AOL subscription. Right? A couple friends did, um, but I, I never actually had one. And I can remember thinking to myself, looking at these, the especially the ones that you, that would come in the mail, a thousand free hours of it. And it's like, how good can it possibly be if you're giving away that much time? But that was well before the internet was like really a thing for me. Jagged wastes. That's where I am. Oh! Oh, the giveaway. It's time. Let's do this, guys. Let's find out who wins. There we go. I can't win that. I already said it. All right, Queen. You have won your very own copy of Strange Brigade. Give me just a second. Let me send that code to you. Sorry, Jim. Where is she? There you are. Do that whisper. There you go. And congratulations. There will be more giveaways in the future. Again, it's a way to say thank you to you fine folk that have seen fit to support my channel. I appreciate it a lot. <laughs> well, I appreciate that, Jim. Do you use Discord? I'll tell you what was fun. Uh, you calling me when I was in Michigan. That was fantastic. It was definitely a uh, voice that welcome on my ears. <laughs> Hopefully everything went for it went uh, well for you on your job site though. Can't go this way. Excellent. You're still up. You've been there for a minute, dude. All right. Where the hell am I? I'm now in Shaded Basin. I don't need to be here.
me go the other way. February? Are you, uh, who are you working for these days? Yeah, I need to go this way and go north. I gotta get to Homestead. That's a long time to be out on a job site. Jesus. Same place, really. You know, I have to tell everybody I said hi. Anybody that's still there that knows me anyway. I will say that was one of the more entertaining places that I've worked. Oh, thank you for coming. You can't win if you're not in the channel. I hope you enjoy the game. I don't know much about it. From what I had seen, it looked like it was a decent four-player uh, co-op shoot zombies thing. I hope you enjoy it. I think the next one that I do, I may not do it until, I'll probably, I might do it Wednesday. I think the next one I'm going to do is going to be uh, Golf with Friends. I got a code for Golf with Friends with the Caddy Pack DLC. Hey, fold laundry is one of the things that got to get done. It's one of the things I wish I could get my kids to do more regularly. They do it some, but not nearly as much as I think they should. Come on. Dead. Oh shit, boss. <laughs> My lightning thing needs to happen. Those are good damage. Alright. Got all kinds of stuff in here. This guy takes you to a DLC that I can't remember the name of to save my life, but it's the DLC that brought the Oath Keeper into the game, the one that I'm using right now, or my main class anyway. And uh, it's pretty cool. It's pretty legit. Not required to beat the game and get to, you know, super hard mode. These are trying to... Clear out inf infestation. I'm 
see what's left of my wares. I got, I got a mask of delirium. Which is actually pretty good. Do I use the melee strike that I get out of this helmet? It's, I'm one of those guys that I have a hard time when I'm playing these games actually like um, upgrading to the new equipment as I find it. Because like that's a lot more armor. Extra pierce damage is cool. More cunning. Chance to avoid projectiles is neat. Skill disruption projection is good. It keeps bad guys from maybe using their skills which is cool. So definitely advantages to them. But I just never use them. Never use them. And I just recently went through my inventory and got rid of uh, a bunch of stuff that I was holding on to that I was way out, I leveled way, way beyond them. Stash here. Stash safe. Put stuff in it. No. This is all the crap that you use to make better crap. It's always nice to find a whole bunch of it while you're going through. I hope you enjoy it. I really do hope you enjoy it. I'll give you a good price on what I've got left. How much money do I have? 184. I like these augments. These are, um, I think, a new thing. New thing. A lot of extra damage and offensive ability. Which is definitely cool. Extra 40 damage. Extra vitality and chaos. Extra physical and fire. Extra aether. And then that thing. I haven't put an augment. It's level 65. I'm going to be keeping that one for a while. I think we'll do that. We'll do extra physical and fire. That actually should give me a lot more offensive. Crit chance to hits 100% critical chance is 13. That's not too bad. I'm not going up there. So I got to head to the west to... clear farms and this is cool too they have dummies uh, for you to attack and see what your damage is actually looking like which is always nice I can just standing here I do fire damage
have two points available. What do I want to use those points on? I think I have like three things that have a chance to activate with a default weapon, which is just neat to me. Wait, no. Like that does extra damage, energy leech, attack damage converted to health. Hard to argue with. Shield bonus. There's lots of extra damage. Smite, stupid amount of damage. Extra shockwave thing for more damage. It's all just stuff that's on. Health and healing. Healing and defensive stuff. My presence makes them more likely to take fire damage. And here's another cool thing, right? It's just little stuff they added. Like, this thing is... is the guy's purely built... Uh... Yeah, you text it to me. You could whisper it to me here. Uh, I'm pretty easy, man. I'd love to check it out. But like this is, like I was saying, uh, Oathkeeper is built in almost entirely around physical damage and fire damage, right? But you can, through the use of this one, this one, and this one, you can change all your stuff from fire damage to vitality damage from physical and fire all to uh, vitality damage and acid. Which is just cool. It's a neat thing that they do. So if you wanted to play an acid -y dude instead of a fire one, you totally can. Oh, here, I'll whisper you my email. There you go. You should have gotten a ding here. Make it easier for you. So I gotta decide what to do with these two points. What do I want to do with these two points? Excuse me. I'm tired. I, uh, I drove from Atlanta to St. Louis on Friday. Saturday, we, uh, wife and I went to a wedding reception. And then Sunday, we drove all the way back. And then today, I've been working. So, I'm a little sleepy. I think I'm going to need to uh, get to some sleep. I think I'll do this and this. Pimp that stuff out some more. That'll be good. All right, let me see. So I am at a point where I think it is about time for me to shoot a host over to somebody. So let me see who is playing that is live. We got... Let's see here. We got Loken doing some F1 racing stuff. Not super on that one. We do got Kellamall doing some Dungeons and Dragons. We got Star Wolf doing some Mech Warrior Online. We got Rushu doing some chatting. Here, I have been hosting to this one for a while. Wrath of Wall. Entertaining Cat, another, uh, I'm pretty sure she's uh, in the potatoes. So we are going to host her up. She's actually playing Dead by Daylight, which I know is a, a favorite for lots and lots of folks. So let's do that. 
we'll hang out, say hi to her, say give her an opportunity for a follow possibly. She's an entertaining cat. And uh, scent sweet. I'm looking forward to it. I'll probably download that at work tomorrow and check. Uh, take a quick glance at it. And, uh, yeah, we'll see where that goes. Like I said, it, it looks neat. I am definitely interested in it. But I'm out of here, folks. Uh, thanks, everybody, for coming by. Tomorrow, be live around the same time, 8 p.m. Eastern time, until I get tired again. And uh, then Wednesday, co-op night with the wife. Probably Warframe, because Space Ninjas are awesome, right? Why not? Uh, Jimmy, great to see you. Queen, thank you for coming by. Appreciate all the follows, everybody. And um, see you all soon.